Welcome Rookie. In this video, we're going to be testing your shooting skills. You're going to need them to survive the streets of Mega City 1. Many models will be armed with one or more ranged weapons, usually a gun of some sort. Weapons have their own stats just like models do. When a model attacks, it uses its own stats combined with those of the weapon it is carrying to calculate a result. Weapon stats are range, the range that determines a weapon's range in inches on the tabletop. Range is divided into two bands, short and long. Some close weapons, like knives, can also be thrown and have a long range to show this, but other close weapons can't be thrown so don't have a long range. Modifiers. Different range weapons have modifiers to the shoot stat of the model using them to increase or decrease the number of combat dice rolled by a shooting model. Different modifiers apply at long and short range according to the weapon's type. Power. Power describes how hard hitting a weapon is. If a shot hits a model, the weapon's power is compared to the model's resist stat to see if it injures them and how badly. Special rules. If a weapon has any special rules that apply to it, for example stun, blast or incendiary, they are noted in the special rules section. In terms of actions, a single action for shooting is a snapshot. A double action is an aimed fire. When a model takes a snapshot, it turns in place and uses one of its ranged weapons to shoot at a target. A snapshot represents firing from the hip with little or no aiming. For a more careful aimed shot, a double action is required. An aimed fire double action is a ranged attack resolved in the same way as a snapshot. Turn the model in place as desired before taking the shot. Aimed fire may only be made into the model's focus front fire arc. In the case of aimed fire, the attacking model can elect to add plus two combat dice to either its shoot stat or the weapon's power for the aimed fire ranged attack. In order to make a ranged attack, a model must have the target within range of the weapon it is using, within its line of sight, and within the fire arc of its weapon it is using. If the number of hit results rolled equals or exceeds the target's call, the target is also pinned. The target model can attempt to dodge a hit by rolling a number of combat dice equal to its evade stat. If any special results are rolled, the hit is negated. If no special results are rolled for evasion, deduct the total number of target's armour results from the total number of the weapon's hit results. If any hit results are left over, the target suffers one injury or stun per remaining hit. Finally, place injury or stun markers and lay down or otherwise mark models that are incapacitated or subdued. To work out the attack's effect, refer to the injury chart in the rulebook. Some individuals are either naturally gifted gunfighters or highly trained in gunplay. When a model with the gunfighter skill successfully dodges a ranged attack or rolls a special result on its resist roll against a ranged combat attack, it can get a return snapshot off at its attacker. In order to shoot back, the model must not be pinned, have its attacker in its front fire arc, and finally, have a ranged weapon that can be used for a snapshot. If both models have a gunfighter skill, the counter shot from the defender can potentially trigger another attack from the original attacker, if the attacker successfully dodges or rolls a special result on its resist roll and fulfills all three of the criteria. As long as models keep rolling special for their resist roll, they keep exchanging shots until one of them, potentially both, is pinned or becomes incapacitated by a hit. The Law Judge Dredd himself has a primary weapon known as the Lawgiver Mark II pistol. A Lawgiver's ammo loadout is a mix of execution and armour-piercing bullets. A smaller number of specialist rounds may also be carried, but a judge's supply will vary depending on their activities and how recently they have been able to resupply at the Sector House Armoury. The use of special rounds requires an expenditure of specific armoury cards. In all cases, a special round is fired using the short and long range shoot modifiers of the Lawgiver Mark II. Special rounds always require an aimed fire double action and do not get an additional aimed fire benefit. Dread himself has a number of special rules, one being the gunfighter skill, another being incredible shot. Judge Dread always classes the aimed fire action as a single action instead of a double action. However, he may not perform two aimed fire actions in a single activation. The second range fire action must be a snapshot. This skill allows Dread to shoot an aimed fire only weapon and perform another single action in the same activation. That's it rookie, training vid over. Now time to hit the shooting range and test what you have learned. 